Yo, what is good, everybody? And thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Once again, from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So we are currently on day number seven of the big quarantine for the coronavirus. And guys, at this point, I think it's speak for both of us. We are very much so over it. Anyways, Gabby and I were just hanging out on my couch and we we're looking at old pictures and uh, she started to give me kind of a hard time because of some of my outfits. And uh, I was like, you know what, babe, let's make a video out of it. So that's the purpose of today's video. We're going to go over five of my old outfits okay. and kind of break them down and see if they're wearable in 2020 and just get our overall thoughts on them. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go and jump into today's video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the first fit here. Actually, Gabby has not seen these five outfits that I've picked out, and you guys will see them right here in between us. So I'll go ahead and pull it up real quick. And uh, this is the first outfit. Fit breakdown, your thoughts. Is this outfit wearable in 2020? And what are your thoughts on the outfit overall? No, no. No? It's definitely, definitely not wearable. It's not cool anymore. So first, let's talk about the flannel thing. Why? Why? What's wrong with it? Why? Why not? Why, why aren't there sleeves? I'm wearing a flannel. But there's no sleeves on this flannel. <laughs> like um, the the shorts with the the pants or the like leggings underneath the yoga <laughs> pants. You know, I'll just be honest. I don't think that the thermal leggings are the move. As far as like day to day like clothing wear, I just don't think that that's that's relevant. <laughs> it's okay, you can say that, babe. You can go in. Now, as it relates to my opinion, in 2016, Gabby, this was a fit. This was a fit, like, by every stretch of the word. Sally, John, Maggie, and Tim might have not thought this was a fit, but to Jerry boys all around the world, to this, this was a fit. Honestly, even when I was wearing it that day, I felt that foolish. Day. Like, honestly, that day, I felt foolish because like where we're at, obviously we live in a very like kind of more traditional dressing place. It's a dude wearing thermal leggings with sweat shorts over it. Like it's just kind of, it's really stupid. I look like a, a fool. It's so with all that being said in 2020, heavens no, you could never, ever, ever wear this in 2020. Um, I definitely think X next outfit. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and keep okay. moving here. So this one was in 2017, I believe. This was still during, you know, that was, this was Jerry Boy Paul era for sure. I'm not quite yet rude boy guy. This was a fit that I would go to a lot. And I feel like you could call this one the youth pastor special. Here's the picture right here and I'll go ahead and show it to you. What do you think about this outfit? Is it wearable in 2020? Is it fire? Is it not? Okay, so I actually loved this outfit. I have to be honest with you. Obviously I'm in the picture, so I remember it. <laughs> and I think that it's super cute. I think this this type of outfit, you guys, you can wear it forever. It's just a nice dress shirt with a nice little boot. And um, maybe the, the pants should not be so tight. Let's just talk about that. Maybe a little bit looser, um, but as far as like just going out on a nice date, like this is a great outfit. Always. Really? Always? Long term. Long term. Oh, no, for 2017 in that time set, that was good? Yeah, I think How so. How about 2020? I think so. 2020 So if well. I took you out in 2020 in that outfit, that's cool? I think so. I'm not the fashionista guy. That's you. So, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, in, in 2017, like I said, this was like pastor's perspective for an <laughs> outfit. Like this was the average youth pastor outfit. And it was a vibe. You had the top man shirt. You had the top man spray on skinnies for those beautiful, nice bungee cord stacking. And then you had a clean pair of Chelsea boots. Um, it was a vibe. I really liked this outfit. Um, I actually would wear this today. A lot of people say that Chelsea boots are dead. I personally don't think so. Um, I haven't worn Chelsea boots in quite some time, but that doesn't necessarily mean I wouldn't. Um, I still think it's a very clean look. I think skinnies are still wearable, like she said, though. I think that if you were to defer from a skinny with a Chelsea, maybe going with a more slim rather than a skinny a pant would have would have done in, in this day and age. But I mean, if I was wearing this today, I wouldn't be ashamed. Now, like the shirt, I feel like the shirt is kind of a little bit too like preppy. Uh, for me nowadays, like nowadays, I probably wear something more flowy, maybe rayon, maybe keep like buttons open. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay. Is, is it a, is it is it wearable in 2020 in your opinion though? Definitely. All right. I, I, I agree. It's definitely wearable. I think that you look super cute in that pic too. So if you guys think that Paul looks cute, comment below, <laughs> like, thumbs up, whatever. Wait, they're you boys want. though. Oh my my, are you ready okay. for this? Here comes a picture right here. This picture was taken in late 2014. 2014. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I call this Paul. The dad, dad Paul here. He literally, basic, basic. What did you drink from? The Fountain of Youth. Like, doesn't Paul look so much younger now? Let's talk about the fit. Okay, let's talk about the fit. I hate this fit. So first and foremost, what is that a dress? <laughs> Because it kind of looks like, I, it literally looks like a dress. I literally could probably wear that as a dress. And, and maybe put a little belt on it. It would look really, really cute, actually. It's so embarrassing. It feels funky. I can't explain it. But babe, you are so good at trying new things. I'm so proud of you. Now, a lot of you guys might be too young to know this. A lot of you guys may have just never messed with this style. Okay. But there was a time and place when long, long, long shirts Long line shirts were a vibe. I think they were called BGD, like the feather t-shirts, and they were like long line from Urban Outfitters. You could get them oh, at- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember ones. those? Yeah. I had like so had many the of them. <sighs> yeah, 2020, I say, nope, and this one gets an X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely, uh, I have to agree with you. Okay, so here's the next outfit, guys, and I have to admit, this one's a little bit more recent, but I am no more less ashamed than I was from the last outfit, but all right, here we go. <laughs> what do you think? This was actually a recent picture, as in like less than two years ago. The shoes are fire. I love those shoes. I would totally wear them myself. That's my girl. I love them. I want that pair right now. I love the socks. I, oof. <laughs> she loves socks. That's the last thing she compliments. It. Go ahead, you can say it. Babe. The t-shirt underneath. Is you guys, underneath? there's watches all over the shirt. This is just a no. Not wearable 2020? Absolutely not. This wasn't even wearable when you wore it. Oh my. <laughs> but apparently some people out there thought so because this this photo got a lot of likes. Um, Babe, don't be shamed. No, it was pretty bad. Um, you are so right. This outfit does not belong in any time span whatsoever. Another outfit that needs to be thrown into the abyss, never to be seen again. And you know what's sad? What? Honestly, you know what's sad? I looked in the mirror, I said, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I looked good. Hey, you know what? We all make mistakes, man. So, it's okay, babe. Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just leave that one in the archives. Okay, so now on to the last and final outfit. This picture was in late 2016. I remember this exact moment is right after the Fear God garage sale. So uh, here's the outfit showing her now, showing you guys right now as well. So let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about this one. Okay, so this is a an outfit that really speaks to me, I have to say. Um, I love the shoes. I think that they are nice. And then the pants, I like the rip of the pants. I think they look really nice. The wash is clean. Um, I think that the the jersey thing. Yeah, it's a me it, yeah, it, mesh jersey. I do like it. I think it's it's cute. It's really nice. I would wear it. All right, guys. So for this last picture, I had to redeem myself somewhat, and I have to say, I really love this outfit. And I would absolutely wear this in 2020. Um, I wear this tomorrow, in all honesty, if I had somewhere to go and if I could go outside. <laughs> uh, you got the military sneakers, the fourth collection right. denim, and then you got the batting practice shirt. But I pass the question on to you, my love. Is this outfit wearable in 2020? I think you guys already know my response based on how I felt about it, but absolutely, 100%. I definitely think the fourth collection was the best by far um, really? for Jerry. At this point, I, we'll see what he comes up with because I know there's more creativity bubbling up in that guy. Um, but I definitely felt like most of his iconic pieces were from the fourth collection. I'd and, agree with that. Um, All right, well, babe, I appreciate you so much for being in today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let us know in the comment section down below would you guys like to see this again? I can definitely bring out some high school pictures, a little Ed Hardy, a little Rocket Republic, a little True Religion. Protect your health. Both Gabby and I are praying for each and every one of you. We thank you guys so much for the continued support. And uh, yeah, as I end every video here at Locust and Wild Honey, we're gonna say peace, peace and, and be, be blessed. blessed.
É, 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 é,